We're on our way to the other greatest show on earth, the 2023 Tokyo Motorcycle Show. And if it's anything like years past, we are in for a huge treat. So get yourself a comfy seat and let's get it. Welcome to the 2023 Tokyo Motorcycle Show. This is the 50th anniversary of this amazing event and there are so many motorcycle manufacturers from all over the world. We're gonna go around and check out everything including motorcycle parts and some other very nice things to look at. Let's go. We're gonna kick things off this year with the Ducati booth. It never disappoints. My favorite this year is the Multistrada. Nearly 20 years ago, Cardo created the world's first rider-to-rider -rider helmet communication device, and now the PacTalk Edge. It's loaded with technology, like dynamic mesh communication. You can simultaneously connect up to 15 riders. It has fast charge, two hours talk time in 20 minutes. You can even charge it while you ride with a USB-C cable. And another world's first, the air mount. Just get the unit close to the helmet and Shazam! Now that's the kind of lockdown I can live with. To release, just press and slide. The PacTalk Edge is waterproof, even mud, dust, sand, and snow. Syncing to your smartphone via the Cardo app is an absolute breeze. And calls are effortless, even if you don't want to answer it. Ignore, politely. And thanks to the high fidelity JBL speakers included, everything sounds crystal clear and excellent. Even my wife. Where are you? On the bike again? Sound profile settings in the app allow you to dial in your ideal sound. PacTalk Edge comes with everything you need to mount it to a full or open face helmet. Cardo also has an optional product for a half helmet. Be sure and check out the PacTalk Edge and Cardo's full exciting line of products. Links are in the description of this video. This is actually a 2022 Speed Triple 1200. Beautiful bike. Oh wow, yeah. It's going to be a pleasure owning this maybe one day. Oh, wait, that is. Oh, not on it. This is a Trident Custom. Like in this. この体が 
反応性に高いキビキビとした走りをライダーに抵抗のアドベンチャーの楽しみを広げるスポーティー This is a Thruxton RS 1200cc スパイルマモノブロックキャリパーを採用しています身の好みのサスペンションセッティングへ合わせてシートコーを 2mm 調整して快適なライディングポジションアクションコントロールこの2つが絶妙な 1200GT 本日はこの 100HE フィーリング素晴らしい幅のナイスバイク楽しめる仕様となっています続きまして2022年最も優れたバイクを表彰する英国の MSC ブレーキレバーはマルチクリックシステムによりモート2エディション可能ライダーにフィットする操作性が追求できますそして走行時にはコーナリング ABS やコーナリングトラクション I tell you what, it is so nice to be here on the opening day of the motorcycle show where the crowds are not here yet. We came here at 10 a.m. and this is for press and uh, no crowds. Oh, this thing is sick. This is the uh, V Strom ten fifty. They've got their customized pannier. I like it. I like it a lot. So this is a 250. 250s are very popular here in Japan because you don't have to do the annual safety check or uh, emissions check. I like this two-tone seat. Oh, nice. Kawaii.
So the uh, Mondial are small displacement bikes, and as I mentioned, 250 cc is actually their 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 top. And uh, in Japan, that's a really popular size. This is the 25RZX 250cc. These things scream. You do not need Viagra in the company of one of these things. the W800. It's kind of classic Triumph Bonneville styling. It's the Kawasaki Eliminator. H2. That's beautiful. Jet Dragster. This is one of the new colors for 2023. Bronze and a matte black. Nice. This one comes in both 125 and 200 cc. Prices and. And you got your traditional Italian colors, red, white, and green. Hi. Hello. Oh, a sticker for me? You're so kind. Thank you. Or should I say grazie? <laughs> Hi. It's so very nice. This is great. It's called a Royal Alloy. And I don't know if they've licensed from Lambretta, but it's very clearly Lambretta styling. It's a 125.
All right, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I like the sound of this already. Look at these bad boys. Oh yeah, man. Diamond tuck seat. Don't be confused, this is not the Harley booth. We'll be checking that out shortly. Oh, I like this R18, check this out. With some ape hangers, hell yeah. That's a beaut. So this is obviously a custom shop. That is a sick paint job. The 9T, nice one. Here's that scooter we saw last year. It's growing on me. I think people are warming up to it, and I like it too. I really like the S1000. It's just a rocket. Oh, it's so nice to be able to breeze through here. We've got like two minutes until the cattle call. And trust me, it is going to be a cattle call. We'll never be able to walk around the bikes like this. This is a lot of bike, man. I see these riding around Tokyo and I'm just like, dude. We're in some pretty narrow streets in town and that's a lot of bike. It's very heavy. And when you got these panniers loaded with all kinds of stuff, 
watch out. But what a beautiful bike. Here's the R1250GS, the non-adventure type. Maybe a little more manageable in Tokyo. Very excited about checking out this brand and they're all electric bikes. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm seeing some MV Augusta shout outs here. Well, that's got a really nice riding position. So what I really enjoy about these Energica electric bikes is they're starting to look more like a combustion type motorcycle. And that's because of the, the frame size, the molding, the fairings. Because let's face it, bikers like the looks of our motorcycles and we like the looks of the, of the engine. They're really starting to look more like an internal combustion engine bike, which is a good thing. Yoshimura makes some really dope parts. Really, really popular here in Japan. This is the Ural sidecar. These are a lot of fun to ride. ホイール。さらに直接的なライディングを実現するため、リアのサスペンションは鉄の棒、リジットへと変えられております。さらに大きな突き出しが行われまして、専用のフラットトラックバーを装備。新の電子製品。ちょっとピーポーヴィジリング
easy on the eyes. So these Peugeot scooters are getting bigger displacements. This is a 400. It's always a pleasure to be at my favorite booth, the MV Augusta. These things are primo, absolute works of art. Let's go have a close-up look. This is the Super Veloce. Oh my lord. Isn't that gorgeous? I rented one of these in Hokkaido and just fell in love with it. Incredible power, incredibly stable, really fun to ride. This is the Tenere 700 Rally. Oh yeah. Whoa. It's got some lift on it. I'm almost on my tippy toes. And I'm not sure. This is the uh, Tricity 155. I know you want to say Tri City, but don't do it because that's not how you pronounce it. It's Tricity. The early versions of these three wheel scooters were not so attractive, but they're getting their, their uh, game together and becoming much more attractive. Big fan of the XSR 900 Yamaha. Rented one of these in Hokkaido, and it's a bucking Bronco. Just 
just begs you to get on the gas. And who am I to argue with a machine like this? If you have a chance to rent one of these, test ride it, I highly recommend you check it out and you will fall in love. Wonderful bike. Well, we're here with Dan from Cardo Systems. Cardo has some really amazing devices, the helmet comm devices. And uh, my question to you is twofold. What sets Cardo apart? And where do you see Cardo going in the near future? Actually, it's, it's a great question, Peter, because, well, not many people know, but we are the original gangsters of Bluetooth. We made the first Bluetooth for motorcycle riders back in 2004, 19 years ago. But what I think sets us apart are, are three things. It's the quality of our products, the waterproof, uh, the way they are built, the materials they are built. It's uh, the user first. We are constantly thinking how to make the ride more exciting, more rewarding. And lastly, it's the purposeful innovation. Carter brought most of the innovations in the business, including the first mesh, of course, the first Bluetooth, the first natural voice operation, and the first premium sound by JBL. Um, so it's really innovation that moved the needle. Where next? I think the industry as a whole, and of course Cardo, will go more into standardization. Um, open Bluetooth intercom that can talk one brand, can talk to another seamlessly. And of course going into um, uh, helmet integrated solutions, which brings the need for a standard for universal communication solution. Um, that we are pushing with many of our partners, including B Plus Calm, Midland, and Nuclear here in the show. Oh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Thank you. 
ってあったんですけど。We're here with Nami. She's an Instagrammer, biker. Check her Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. I have no idea what this is, but I want it. Fellow is the brand. We're seeing a lot of electric bikes at this show, which is exciting. They've really picked up their game. Manufacturers that are making the electric bikes realize that they got to make it look a little more like a combustion engine bike to get people excited. The Dunlop booth wins the colorful contest at the Tokyo Motorcycle Show. I really like this. That is awesome. I remember you from last year. The OG. This is what you get when you've had everything else. This is called the XADV. This is the CB1300, beautiful. A lot of the classic features of the uh, earlier 1300s. Not too much electronics in the instrument panel. Nice rear end. The Honda booth is always crazy busy. This is the press time and there's already a line of people back there to get in and play the gachapon game over there. It's crazy. This is the Rebel 1100. Got some integrated side cases. Not too bad. And here we have the 2023 Trans Alp. We're going to be seeing these a lot in the very near future. This is the Honda electric scooter, EM1E. There's the battery. 
and you can replace the battery very quickly. This is the Transalp 750. This reminds me of one of those grocery store rides that my mom used to take me to. Oh, it's always nice to see a classic 750. Oh man, look at this Ninja H2. Look at all that carbon fiber. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Beautiful bike. This is the motorcycle from the new movie Sheen Kamen Rider. It's based on the Honda CBR 650R. Obviously, slightly modified. From Spain. Spain, okay, yeah, okay. Is from Spain. Having a Chinese driver's license you can't ride in Japan right no. yeah that's too bad I have uh, two Triumph a Bonneville and uh, a speed triple and oh. a Vespa okay in Guangzhou yes okay a oh, beautiful Smart bike city. what size is that one uh, 1200 cc nice oh no hands no that's not good <laughs> show us again she's driving with no hands just for one second. <laughs> ah, you're like a, are you a stunt person? Are these, is this your bike too or are you just like test riding it? Uh, this is my bike too. Mm -hmm. On December, I was long hair. Ah. And, here. <laughs> and it got caught in the wheels? <laughs> no. That's why, it, that's why you cut your hair off? <laughs> my name is Sha. Sha? Yeah. I'm Peter. Peter. Nice to meet you. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. A lowrider CB400. Holy hell. 
How fun is that? You can get an idea of the size of these things with this man standing next to it. Tiny. I really like the Royal Enfield bikes. And what's cool about them is they still maintain this retro look to them. But they're just, they're getting better and better looking each model year. That's a beautiful bike. Look at all that carbon fiber. The Tessie H2C. It's about $90,000. Okay, I think, yeah, I've heard about that, that shop. And you do the customization there, right? Yes. It's a custom shop. Oh, okay, okay. This is called the Virus Modo Corse. 22 million yen, that's about 200,000 bucks. These are the Shirobai, the Japanese biker cops. And this is an all-female group. So this is cake, and uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. It's obviously very utilitarian, very stripped down to the basics. Rack on the front, rack on the back, seat, two wheels, handlebars, and a giant battery just sitting there in the middle. Strangely, I like it. I think it's very unique, obviously. It has a 110 kilometer range on the battery, but it's, it's fun, it's different. It's not what you would expect out of a electric motorcycle. I really like this booth too. Everything is minimalist, wide open, and just very, very bare basics. It must be Finnish? Let me find out. Cake wa donna kuni desu ka? Sweden. Sweden, okay, not a Atarashi kaisha desu ka? They're Swedish. Nice. We're going to test drive some cake. I wonder if they give out cake if you test ride it. Where 
Welcome to Tokyo. How are you doing in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> This is sick. This is a heritage classic. Wow, nice. Dude, I was wondering yeah, if I'd I see you that here. Was you. Say hi to Andrew. But well, I thought you had an allegiance to Yamaha, dude. What I are you do, doing in the I'm, Harley booth? Got to make sure that we see what everybody else is doing. Make sure we stay on top of it. Ah, so you're going to steal the ideas. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me here at the 2023 Tokyo Motorcycle Show. It has been a pleasure checking out all of this wonderful stuff. Let me know in the comments what bike you like the most and looking forward to seeing you again here next year. Bye for now. Yeah. Be sure and check out my true crime podcast, Homicide Inc. for compelling true crime stories. That link is in the description.